Good morning, St. Luke. Happy Friday. I'm standing in our school gym right now because I love this painting. It brings me a lot of comfort when I look at it. These children in the presence of Jesus, there are sheep there, but God's sheep are with him too. The peace, the joy, the comfort that this brings. Sue Bertner, if you're watching, our former art teacher, thank you for your work. I want to spend some time in Isaiah chapter 35 this morning. I'd invite you to grab your Bible or your Bible app uh, if you have that available. I don't know about you, but my frustration level has been rising. My weariness level has been rising. It seems pretty clear that we are headed very much into the second wave of COVID now. And with that comes lots of unpleasant conversations, decisions to be made. I'm not here to talk about any of that, other than to say, in my faith life right now, this time of COVID, I've been realizing, has felt a lot like exile. I've resonated a lot lately with the Old Testament language of being in exile away from our homes, away from our comfort, away from our routines, those familiar things. We're far from those things that we love. And so I've been resonating with the Old Testament prophets that speak about God's promise to those who are in exile as well. These are beautiful words, Isaiah 35, that God speaks about the day, about the time when his people will be brought back from their captivity in Babylon, and the beautiful, comforting imagery. I want to begin to model for us more directly. You heard me say this over the weekend. COVID, this time of difficulty that we're in, distance from each other, this is a season. This is not forever. And I think that for all of us, it, we would benefit from being a little more intentionally hopeful. And I think the language of COVID being a season is particularly helpful. I've been out in my yard no less than three times in the last three weeks dealing with all of the leaves in our backyard because fall is coming to a close and winter is quickly here. We even had snow this last week. Just like the leaves fall and the snow comes as seasons change, so too COVID is a season of our life. This is not forever, not by any means. There will come a day when God will remove this from us through the wisdom and skill of many, many people. Back to Isaiah chapter 35. I want to encourage you today, offer you some hope as God speaks to his people and God speaks to you in Isaiah 35. Isaiah is describing what it will be like on that day when God's people return, when their season of captivity, their season of exile is over. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom like the crocus. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands, make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who have an anxious heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, with the recompense of God. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap like a deer and the tongue of the mute sing for joy. For waters break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool and the thirsty ground springs of water. In the haunt of jackals where they lie down, the grass shall become reeds and rushes. And finally, verse 10. And the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain gladness and joy and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. 
dear people of God, there is a lot to be anxious about. There's a lot of things that consume our emotional, our mental, our physical energy in these days. But let's not forget these words. Isaiah 35, verse 4. Say to those who have an anxious heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, with the recompense of God. He will come and save you. What we're experiencing is not forever, not by any means. So I pray that God gives you strength and endurance and patience in the days to come as we keep our eyes fixed on him. God's blessings to you today.